Hello guys, welcome back to the Charo Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Pay Day 2 is crashing at startup, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black screen and many issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So let's dive in. Work it on. The first one is all about, we just need to do like this, do a simple restart. This is what is going to work for you. A re simple restart did work out for many users as well. For that, we just need to click over here. Click on this icon, go for a restart. After restart is successfully done, just try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. This is a simple and basic step which you can try out. This is not going to work, but you can try with this. Moving to the next one is all about. We need to verify integrity of game file. For that, we just need to go over here and right click and go to properties now go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is if the files are corrupted i mean if any files are corrupted if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step called verify integrity of game file for that we just need to click on this one so hence it is the game is around 83 gb this is going to take a lot of time so i'm going to skip this up just click on this one and this will take a time and you'll be getting play button once again after uh, verifying degree of a game file. So just click on the play button and try to play the game. Next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder. Right now we are on the Steam. Okay, so launching the game from here might be causing the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods. One is we can uh, navigate to the installation folder from a shortcut from the Steam. That is right click go to properties go to local file click on browse now we just need to go over here as you can see if you look at the top that is this pc local to c program file x86 steam steam apps common pay day 2. now from here we just need to open the application so just open the application and try to play the game this did work out for many users apart from this there is one more step we can navigate to the installation folder that is using the file explorer for that just click on this one go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now go to common now from here we just need to go to pay day 2 open this one go to this one and open this and try to play the game so now launch the game from here that is going to work for you as well so for many users when they launch the game from the installation folder instead of depending on the steam this did work out for many users so you can try this out there is one more step which i would like to add that is the next step that is all about hence we are in the installation folder i'll be showing you from here itself that is run the game as an administrator for that we just need to select the application right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility go for run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try to launch the game many users when they run the game as an administrator did work at them so you can try this out as well next one there is one more parallel step which you can try out this did work for many users for many games like the last of us spider-man morales and many other game that is running the game in the compatibility mode for that we just need to click over here go to show more options go to properties compatibility now go over here under the compatibility mode run this program in compatibility mode so change this to windows 7 now you have to first try with windows 7 go for apply and go for ok and launch the game next one change this to windows uh, over once again you need to change this to if windows 7 is not working change this to windows 8 go for apply and go for ok and try to play the game that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to move to the next step. That is, we need to launch the game using Alt and Tab. So right now, we just need to click on this one. So when you're clicking on the play button, you need to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this did work it, but for many users, this did work it and this did help with them. So just click on the play button, press Alt and Tab. Apparently, that is going to work for you as well. Next one, we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we just need to go over here in the file explorer. We just need to go to documents. Now from here, if you find the folder name pay day 2, just delete the game folder. Okay, so you'll be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once after that, just go back, 
go over here and try to play the game. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to allow the game to window security. Now we just need to allow the game to window security, for that we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here we have to go to control panel, go to windows defender firewall. Now go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall. Now for here go to pay day 2, keep scrolling down hence it is an alphabet. Just scroll down, over here will be find pay day 2 and you have to select this one, this one as well. Now select payday 2 over here, select this one and this one. Once you select this one, try to launch the game. Make sure this is checked and it is added. If this is not added, just click on allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, keep scrolling down program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder. Now go to steam apps, now go to common. Now from here we just need to go to payday 2. Now from here we just need to select the application, open it, now go for add. It might be added as well. Once it added, just close everything, go back to the game and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to unplug all the USB devices. So if it's already connected, I mean, if your USB ports, maybe you may be playing the game with multiple monitors or, be, or you might be connected already. The Logitech wheels might be connected or controllers might be already connected. Sometimes this is the issue why you're having these kind of trouble. So just remove everything from the USB port. I mean Logitech wheel hub if it's connected, controllers, multiple monitors, just remove everything. Once after that, launch the game. Now after launching the game, just connect back the controller and try to play it. And this did work it. In many cases in my, in my knowledge and I found this step from the Reddit. Many users mentioned this over there, it did work at them. So you can try this step as well. You can include, that's why I included this step. Just do this and that's going to work for you as fine. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to perform a clean boot. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go to system configuration, go for services. Now go for hide all Microsoft services, go for disable all, go for apply. Now once after that, it might ask you for a restart sometime. If they're asking for a restart, just go for a restart and try to play the game. Next one is all about, we need to disable the Steam overlay. For that, we just need to select the game, right click and go to properties. Go to over here, disable the Steam overlay, which means you have to uncheck this. And if this is unchecked, which means it is disabled. Once after that, try to launch the game. If this is not working, we have to go to the launch option. And the launch option, we need to give the command DX11. Give the command DX11, launch the game. If DX11 is not working, change the command to DX12, then launch the game. So that is what you have to do. Try with DX11 and DX12. Sometimes try with a command D3, D2. I don't know how this worked, but for many users, this did work. It. Try with D3, D2. Try this also. Once it's no, no things are working over here. I mean, three commands are not working. Just remove everything. Keep it nil, then move to the next step. Next step, we need to close all unnecessary background running in the task manager, which means overlay application as well as overclocking application. Just right click over here, go to task manager. Now open this. Now, if you find anything like Discord over here, it comes under the category of overlay application. So if you find Discord, it is overlay application, just remove it. And if you find anything under comes under overclocking application, just remove it as well. So just remove it. Overclocking application should be removed. Once after that, the overclocking applications are like Riva Tuner, MSI Afterburner, etc. Just remove it. And once after that, just close this. Go back and try to play the game. Next one is all about. We need to move to the next step. That is run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, we just need to go over here in the search. Now go to graphics settings. Now from here, you can see I have already added many games, same way we need to add it. So just go for browse. Now for this PC, go to local disk C. Now from here, go to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and we need to go to Steam folder. Now go to Steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here, we just need to go to pay day 2. Open this one. Now just add it. So over here, as you can see, it is already added. Now we need just need to click on the option. Make sure this will be let Windows decide. Change this to high performance. Now change this to high performance. Go for save and close everything. Go back and try to play the game. 
Next one is all about we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for view, advanced system settings. Now from here, go to advanced, go for settings, go to advanced once again, go for change. Over here, if you find the virtual memory, uncheck this. Okay, uncheck this, make sure the local disk is selected where the game is installed. Now go to custom size, give the value initial size, maximum size, initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM, maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. Now go over here, go to the calculator. Now we need to multiply, so 32 GB is the RAM. So multiply 32 GB into 1024. That brings you 32,716. So multiply it with 1.5. That brings you the initial size that is 49152. Copy this and paste it. Move into the maximum size. We need to give the value that is 32 GB into 1024. That is 32,168. So multiply it with 3. 98,304. Just copy this value. Now we just need to paste it. Now go for OK and try to play the game. Move to the next one is all about. We need to increase virtual memory, which I did already. Once after that, we need to update the windows. So over here, go to search, go to settings, bottom left windows update. Over here, uh, I have already updated. Now they're asking for a restart. So I'll be doing this after video. So once after that, just uh, go back and try to play the game. I mean, update the windows. Next one, we need to install Microsoft. I mean, we need to update the graphics card manually. So I'll be providing a link in the description over here. So if you check on this, you'll be able to understood. So now from here, product type, you have to select the GeForce. Product series should be selected as it is. Now go for product and operating system, etc. Once you go for this and search everything, you'll be getting the latest version of uh, update. That is 531.61 which is released on April 13, 2023. So just download this and install it on your PC. Now go to the AMD. You have to select the respective one graphics. This is my configuration. You have to select the respective way. What is your configuration? Go for submit. Now what happens is you'll be taken to another page. If you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. If you're on Windows 7, download this one. After this, restart your PC and try to play the game. If that is not working, we have one more step that's called Microsoft Visual C++ should be installed on a PC. So I'll be providing a link in the description. So just download this one and install it on a PC and try to play the game. That's what you have to do. And the last and the least one is all about uninstall the game and reinstall it back. For uninstall the game, just go over here, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, it should be not on the same local disk where it's already uninstalled. So try with any other disk. That is what you have to do. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Pay Day 2 is crashing all these issues. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.